Are people safe in a state capital, Imphal? What's behind the frequent IED blasts and the recovery of IEDs in Imphal West and Imphal East districts? Are explosive devices easily available for anyone to create panic and terror? Are insurgent groups behind these frequent incidents? And if yes, then what is the agenda behind the IED plantings? Well, these are just some of the questions that are doing the rounds after yet another explosive suspected to be an IED was recovered, this time from outside the much sought after RIMS Hospital in Imphal West. The explosive device was recovered from outside the pharmacy after the owners informed the police about the presence of a suspicious packet. The alertness of the people around ensured that the bomb squad reached the spot on time and the explosive was disposed of. But the recovery of a suspected ID barely three days after the incident outside the Little Flower School raises serious questions on the law and order situation. In the case of the explosion outside the Little Flower School in Imphal West, big revelations were made by Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh, who stated that the explosion was carried out on the, at the behest of leaders of the National Revolutionary Front of Manipur, who were operating from Bangladesh. And what is even more concerning is the fact that a sizable amount of explosives were seized from the accused in the Little Flower School explosion case. Chief Minister N. Biren Singh also indicated that since the case has an international angle, it may be handed over to the NIA. But the concern that continues to linger is the frequency of ID blasts and the recovery of IEDs. Between the months of May and June, there have been at least five blasts in Imphal East and Imphal West alone. This is apart from the recovery of explosives in separate cases. Well, improvised explosive devices or IEDs have emerged as a major threat for the people of Manipur. Security experts say that IEDs are easy to assemble and hide, making it the go-to explosive device for insurgents as well as miscreants. But what is the way to contain this menace? Why has the state police been unable to curb the IED explosions? And is there a need to relook at ways to tackle the emerging situation? Well, these are just, just some of the questions, viewers, that are being asked right now. So, viewers, indeed, the big development to start us off here this evening. Are people in Manipur capital Imphal safe? And what is behind the frequent IED blasts and the recovery of IEDs in Imphal East and Imphal West districts? Are explosive devices easily available for anyone to create panic and terror? And are insurgent groups behind these frequent incidents? And if that is the case, then what is the actual agenda behind these IED plantings? To answer these questions and more, I'm being joined now live from Imphal by my colleague Sharad Chandra. Well, Sharad, these are indeed some of the pertinent questions that people in Manipur would be asking themselves right now, isn't it? Series of explosions in IED and it seems as though it has become extremely easy for anyone to, to create an IED and cause panic and terror. So what more would you like to add at this point in time, Sharad? Yeah, uh, Ronak, uh, you see... Uh uh, today again, the, this uh, police team and bomb squad uh, have already recovered an IED planted in front of the one medical soap. Uh, this medical soap uh, is uh, along the road side of the rim store. There is a one road. This road is leading to the rims hospital. Otherwise, this uh, uh, this uh, this medical soap is uh, outside the uh, rims campus. It is somewhat far from the rims uh, rims hospital campus. But yesterday morning around 7 15, the ID was noticed by the shopkeeper of this particular pharmacy, also the locals of the area. And they immediately informed the police, and the uh, police have rushed at this spot uh, along with the bomb squad and uh, uh, successfully, uh, ma successfully managed to uh, re retrieve the uh, ID and uh, that are taken away at in isolated area uh, around uh, this, uh, this game village area. and. Uh, uh, diffuse, uh, diffuse uh, that bomb was disposed. But yes, uh, looking into the this uh, triggering of uh, bomb blast, planting of bomb blast in around in and around Imphal is uh, a concern. And recently, very recently, on 15 also, uh, one bomb was triggered in front of the Little Flower School gate on 15. Yes, so far as the so far as the this Little Flower School gate blast is concerned, uh, police have already arrested. Uh, one active member of the uh, outfit NRFM, and uh, 
But uh, you see, uh, when we talk about uh, uh, this uh, uh, planting of a bomb and the triggering of uh, this bomb is concerned, I think, yes, after the blast, uh, police have uh, police cracking down, arresting, uh, arresting, arresting the this uh, uh, some of the involved person. Uh, that is okay. But yes, before planting it, police are not able to detect all these things. Raise again a very big question, and uh, it is also very difficult to say uh, when uh, such kind of planting a bomb, triggering of blast, triggering of bomb uh, can stop. It is also a big question. Yes, so far as the uh, Indian Nepal Nepal area is concerned. It's a, it's a heavily uh, security, uh, heavily present area. And in such an area, uh, anti-social elements uh, uh, this, this, uh, uh, just sneaking uh, inside this uh, security zone and then triggering glass and planting glass. Again, this is a, any big question to the law and order situation. Uh, of the Manipur, of the state, uh, Rona. Absolutely. So, uh, Sharad, you know, if we look at the months of May and June, there have been at least five blasts in Imphal East and Imphal West alone. And this is if we don't talk about the uh, recovery of explosives in separate cases. So, clearly, you know, this is a very critical situation. So, you know, is there a way to actually, you know, is is there a need, rather, to relook at things to tackle this emerging situation, Sharad? Donak, uh, you see, in Manipur, uh, Manipur is a small state, but uh, uh, this small state do have many uh, several outfits and factions. Uh, so uh, sometimes uh, police uh, cracking down, uh, cracking down to the uh, some of the particular outfit, uh, militant outfit, uh, when a blast took place, when a bla when when IED being planted. But uh, such kind of this uh, uh, triggering of blast triggering of bomb, planting of bomb is carried out by the various military outfit uh, organization existing in the state. And uh, uh, when we look into the modus operandi of the blast, uh, it, it is always like a, uh, this, this, is a, this is a financial threat given to any of the uh, this institute, in private institution. So uh, this kind of blast uh, is certainly to have a to spread a fair, fair psychosis, then, 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 then they can accept money. Uh, these are the motive behind the blast. We have quality good taste, and we are witnessing. But yes, so far as the official command is concerned, uh, police have to uh, nab the perpetrators, and uh, uh, we come uh, become an uh, official person from the police side. What is the motive behind? And whose militant outfit could have involved in the blast? Such thing. But so far as to this blast is concerned, uh, there is no development at all. But we also learned that. Uh, Already, uh, this massive, uh, uh, this uh, man has is already launched. So far, there is no arrest at all, and police have already collected the CCTV footage, uh, CCTV cameras footage, CCTV is installing. This area is also very crowded area, and uh, many shops are also uh, they have the this facility of this CCTV camera. Police have already collected the CCTV footage, and I think uh, police will be able to rip, uh, will be able to get uh, some breakthrough in this class in the days to come, Ronald. Absolutely. Sharad Chandra, hope what you're saying is a true. People, police can indeed have a breakthrough in the days to come. Sharad Chandra, thank you very much for joining us this evening and bringing us all of those latest details.